Welcome to East Coast LQ Reviews, and today I have Glenn Murray, and this is actually the uh, Speyside Single Malt Scotch Whiskey uh, Elgin Classic. Um, this is the peated single malt. So uh, this is a little different from the other one that I had on my channel, the regular Elgin Classic. Um, so this one is peated. Um, so the color on this is uh, supposed to be light gold. Um, there's actually some stuff in here that I can read. Pop this open. So it actually came with two glasses. <laughs> um, on the side of it, it says, uh, Color hidden beneath the subtle light golden color is a rich seam of smoke. Um, nose layers of peat with background of vanilla, tangy rhubarb, barb, and hints of leather. Um, the taste is instant peat smoke, lightly spiced with creamy vanilla. And the finish is long, sweet, and spicy. And then it has some food pairings. Um, it says uh, smoked foods, cheese, ham, and fish. Also seafood, oysters especially. Um, so, uh, yeah. The uh, color of this is like gold, so I'm actually going to pour it into my Glen, uh, Glen Pairing glass here. Um, this is actually my first peated whiskey on the channel. So, uh, go uh, for the nose on this. Um, by the way, the alcohol by volume on this is uh, 40% or 80 proof. Um, it's a little bit lighter than I expected. Kind of get that smoke. Sort of a, like a mossy floral uh, nose. Um, it's quite delicate, actually. Um, subtle hints of wood, oak, you get that smoke, um, and a little bit of salt, um, so I'm going to go for the taste now, um, it's actually pretty smooth for 40%, it's kind of a little watery. Um, it kind of has like a weak alcohol bite. Um, the flavor is definitely light. Um, it's not bad. Uh, the peat is kind of like a floral, like a mossy flavor. Um, it's a little smoky. Uh, kind of get those dried fruits and drop a couple of drops of water in here. Um, so yeah, it's got like that earthy peat smoke flavor. Um, it's actually pretty sweet. Uh, you get the creamy vanilla. Um, light on the oak flavor. Um, this is a NAS, so this is a non-age statement whiskey. Um, Go for another taste on it. Um, so for the finish, the beginning flavor kind of dies off at first. Um, it kind of dies off. Um, the finish dies off a lot faster than the original. Um, but uh, well, I'm actually going to pour a little bit more. Um, so the finish is a bit spicy, um, kind of get a little bit of like salt, definitely get the smoke on the finish, um, but besides the, uh, upfront flavor kind of dying off kind of quick, it, you definitely get like that, like floral smoky, fl uh, flavor that kind of lingers in your mouth. Um, if you're going to try any other whiskeys, uh, I think the Scotch test let me say this. You definitely should try the peated one last. If you're gonna, last, if you're gonna try any peated whiskeys, because the peat definitely stays on your taste buds. Um, 
So actually, I kind of recommend this because uh, it's really light on the peat. And uh, this is actually one of the first ones that I've tried. And I've heard from other people that they said that the peat is really light on this. And it's definitely a recommended peat, uh, peated whiskey if you're just getting into it. Um, and also, it's actually fairly inexpensive. So if you don't like the peat and you, you might just have it sitting there, it's only like, I, I believe it's... Uh, 24 to 28 dollars and that's a great price for NAS and non-age statement whiskey um, and yeah it's actually a little bit more than the uh, the uh, original but it's definitely worth it um, so a rating on this um, I think I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of ten um, I was actually pretty impressed by this uh, I was a little scared at first to, uh, if I if I was gonna like the peat but I kind of do like it but Sometimes at first I was getting kind of like a um, like kind of a burnt rubber flavor or in like kind of a burnt rubber uh, aroma and it was kind of throwing me off and it was kind of pushing me away from it but I went back to it the other day and I actually kind of liked it so I've actually been working on this bottle I've been taking notes I've been looking online and uh, yeah it's not bad I think I'm gonna have some fun checking out some other pita whiskeys and uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's any other liquor or beers you'd like to see in my channel, leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos on liquor and beer. Thanks for watching. Cheers.